Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 650. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 648 to 660. Hey, uh, I've done over a thousand videos here at YouTube, and I have my first book coming out in about one month called Slain Excel Dragons. You can go to Amazon and pre order if you'd like, or wait a month. Hey, we got a great trick here. Uh, we have a data set. Products are listed in rows like this, or whatever it is. You have data in rows, which are records. And usually this is the perfect uh, data setup, but sometimes you forget it. I need to take this and put it in a column, and then take the next record and put it in the column below it, and take the next record and put it in the column below it. So this is our end result. So we go from this to this with a formula. The trick is, is we are going to use the index function. And if you've never used the index function, I have some great uh, videos about uh, links there about the index function. But the index function does a two-way lookup. Here's the deal. For the first item, this, it's in the first row in the first column. So we need 1, 1. Row number 1, column number 1. That's what the index function needs as inputs to extract a piece of data. The second item is in row 1 but column 2, so row 1, column 2. The next item is in row 1, column 3. And then we come down here, so 1, 2, 3, all in the first in the column. And then these next three records here. This one is in the first uh, column, second row. So here's the second row, first column. So this is the pattern of numbers that we need to create inside of our formula for row numbers. So in the index function, in the argument, we need to have a formula element that will create these automatically as we copy the formula down. Similarly for column, we need 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Now this pattern, we just saw in our last video how to do that. We'll actually do both of these in this video. We'll do them in their own column, and then we'll put them inside the index. Now we could see if this works. Index, okay, index the array. We just give it the whole data set. I'm going to click right there. Um, control Shift, right arrow. Control Shift, down arrow, and then F4. Right. So that's the array. Contains two directions. There's a column number and a row number. So then what does it need? If I type a comma, it needs a row number. I'm going to click right there. I can't click in that cell because the formula is hanging out. So I'm going to click up above and then down arrow, comma, and then right there. Needs a row number, needs a column number, and then it just extracts whatever, whatever the intersection of that row and column is. All right. So if I copy this down here, you can see we get exactly what we want. Row 1, column 2, boom, there it is. Row 2, column 2, bloop, bloop, there it is. All right, now let's see how to create these numbers because I don't want to have these extra columns. I want to have it all self-contained. So how can we do this? We did this in our last video. Um, equals rows. And I'm sitting in F2, so I'm going to put F dollar sign 2, that's to lock that one, and then not lock that one. Right, so that'll give me the numbers as I copy down. Not what I want at all. So I'm going to try to divide these by 3, just like in our last video, and we notice we get a pattern. These are all, if we were to, uh, or 1 or below. These are all 2 or below. So I'm going to hit F2. I'm going to put a negative sign just like we did in our last video. We get totally messed up here. But notice these are all negative. And when we put the int function, the int function rounds down. This, If we're rounding down for this, it goes to negative 1. That's down. So I'm going to hit F2 and put int. Right? Those are not what we want. We just need the uh, negation of those. So F2 and put a negative sign in front. All right. So we've, that's the formula to simulate that pattern. And it will work all the way down. Now, the formula for this, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, we're going to use the mod function. Mod. Now, what does mod do? Mod, if you say 6, 5. Now, think about this in. Um, 
fourth grade or whatever when you learn division. What's 6 divided by 5? Well, back in uh, fourth grade, we say 1 with a remainder 1. Well, the mod function just gives you the remainder. So just for example, that would give you 1. That's not what we're going to do here, but that's the meaning of the mod function. It gives you the remainder. So we're going to do a similar trick. We'll use our rows. I'm sitting in G2, so I'm going to type G dollar sign 2, lock that one, but not this one. Comma, actually, what we really need here is mod rows. This would give us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and as we copy down. I'm going to subtract 1, because really I'm going to need 0, 1, 2, comma 3. Now, what does this do? Mod, remember, this is going to give us the number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, etc. Well, if we divide by 3, we're always going to get a remainder of 0, because this is, starts out with 0, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2. Let's just see if that works. And then, of course, all we have to do to get that, because there's no 0, is 0, 1, 2. As long as we've established a pattern of repeating sequential numbers, we can just then add 1. I had a, a, an equal sign. And there we have it. We have the formulas that will simulate. So now we want to put these into that formula. A great trick to uh, do is if you don't have if you, in 2007, the clipboard right here, if you haven't changed your options down here, I can't really show you options down here to uh, show Office clipboard when you control C twice. It used to be in 2003 earlier that was default, but now you have to turn that on, so please turn that on, because then you can do stuff like this when you have a big formula you need to mash up together. You can go like this. Copy, control CC, it opens it up. I click Escape. I come over here. Control C. So now I have my two formula bits. Now I can come over here. Double click, and this is the row number. Double click, and this is the column number. Control Enter. So now I can copy this all the way down. Right? And so if we had, you know, thousands of records. Uh, it may take us a little bit to create this, but then just copy it down and boom. Really, if you, um, yeah, and so there you go. Excel Magic Trick 650, taking uh, records like this and organizing them in a column with index and some cool uh, incrementing number formula elements. We'll see you next trick.